everybody, welcome back to Thieges YouTube. Pretty much what I do here is I review the most interesting notebooks to come to the PC market. And what I have for you today is once again from... The HP DV6 T. Now what's different from the DV6 that I reviewed before is this guy, instead of having an AMD APU in him, he has the Intel Core i5-2410M CPU made into a Radeon 7690M GPU with 1GB of GDDR5 speedy fast VRAM. What we're going to find out in this video is whether or not those specs give us any improved performance over the DV6 that I reviewed before. Stick around. HP has designated the DV6T part of their high-performance line of notebooks. This particular model has the Intel Core i5-2410M CPU, the Radeon 7690M GPU, 6 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a 640GB 7200RPM hard drive, all underneath a 15.6-inch 720p screen. To purchase an HP DV6T with comparable specs will cost around $800, which is a fair price for the performance you'll reap. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. This notebook was purchased in a remanufactured package. It contained no drivers or recovery disks, but most OEMs usually don't include those anyway. The HP Recovery Manager allows you to make only one set of recovery media, which can be frustrating should you happen to lose those recovery CDs you already burned. On a side note, when purchasing an HP remanufactured notebook from a third-party seller, i.e. Amazon or eBay, check to make sure the OEM tape is all in place and there are minimal signs of wear on the box. Then check to make sure all of the necessary parts are included, and especially that the AC adapter is the appropriate size. Also make sure your seller is well reputed and offers at least a 7 day return policy. In my case, this notebook was indicated to have a 1080p screen and a 6 cell battery, but in fact had a 720p screen and the 9 cell battery. A blunder by HP themselves, not the reseller. When contacted, the seller offered to honor the 7 day return policy, which I kindly turned down. I was lucky enough to get a notebook with a 7690M GPU. On the other hand, when I contacted HP customer service via online chat, they said there was nothing they could do to mend the situation and that I was stuck with a 720p screen. Lesson learned. Be wary of purchasing remanufactured notebooks from HP. Moving on, the battery life of this notebook deserves to be mentioned because the battery is the protruding 9-cell version. You will enjoy not only extended usage periods, but also relief from the heat dissipation on the bottom of the notebook. I would say that under HP's recommended setting, you'll go for about 4 hours of internet work use, which is very impressive considering the notebook uses a Core i5 processor. It is very much worth as much as an extra $75 to the price of your notebook. Let's see what all those holes in the side do. On the front is the card reader, a couple speaker grills, and the outspoken Beats audio insignia. On the right is the DVD-RW drive, two USB ports, a log slot, and the DC in. The back portrays a nifty HP logo and a small vent. And on the left we have the main vent, VGA, HDMI, LAN, two USB 3.0 ports for a total of four USBs, and mic and dual headphones in. If you've seen the DV6 review I did previously, don't tell my non-subscribers that portion of the video was copy and paste. The top of the notebook is an almost smooth gunmetal finish, and the HP logo burns brightly into the night. The screwless underside cover is removed by moving the battery switch to the right and is quite stubborn to replace. We don't get to see how beautiful the 7690M GPU looks, but at least we get to replace the Wi-Fi card, memory, and hard disk. At least you can replace the Wi-Fi card. I'll argue that you don't need to. The 15.6 inch 720p glossy screen will do you just fine. Though outdoor use is right up and the viewing angle is quite narrow, finding a proper angle is easy since the screen tilts back all the way. God bless HP. The keyboard on the DV6T is very easy to use and to get used to. The unique arrow keys allow for a desktop oriented numpad with extra large zero plus and enter keys, which is very much what every numpad should look like. The accuracy itself gives me no gripes. What does give me gripes is that the function keys are still mapped to the feature toggles by default, meaning that if you want to actually push F2, you'll have to also hold down the function key. It will get in the way of your gameplay experience should you have to utilize those keys. The touchpad will get in the way of your typing, but it can be avoided. Even while you rest your palms on the palm rest, you'll just have to be mindful of it. Other than that, there's nothing out of the ordinary. It has a smooth surface, accumulates oil from your fingers, and doesn't have a unibutton. The sensitivity is predictable, and double tapping the top left corner will disable it. Multi-touch functions seem to be a mixed bag. I would recommend not trying to utilize them. 
Also, it can be set to be disabled when an external mouse is plugged in. The built-in speakers are okay. Like the DV6 I reviewed previously, the Beats audio engine converts all sound to the mid-range for the speakers, meaning that you'll still hear the bass and rage against the machines calm like a bomb, it just won't sound bassy. An average audio experience still calls for two tweeters and a woofer. For the headphones experience, Beats Audio comes through with more bass and reverb, bringing extra life to your music, movies, and games. For the sound purists who prefer a perfect audio balance, you can disable the extra EQ and reverb effects. On to gaming. The DV6T can hold its own against even the premium competition when properly configured. With the Radeon 7690M GPU option, high details at 720p can be a reality. If you want to move up to the premium 1080p screen, it wouldn't hurt to upgrade to the 2GB GPU. Compared to Nvidia's offerings, the 7690M and 6770M GPUs trade blows with the 555M depending on the game. Since both the GPU and CPU are considerable in strength, heat will play a factor, although the fan doesn't spin very loud at all. Still, use a notebook cooler when you're in for a long gaming session. Also, gaming on battery holds no hindrance to performance, but even with the extended battery, an hour and 30 minutes is the maximum amount of time you'll spend away from the plug. In conclusion, students get a thumbs up. Sure, it's a tad bit heavy and just might put a burden on your shoulder when you carry it around campus, but the keyboard and touchpad are rather quiet, and the extended battery option is cheap, and allows your notebook to last through a whole day of classes with the Wi-Fi card turned off. I would highly recommend this notebook to the casual gamer, especially if you spring for just the 720p screen. It'll keep your cost around that magical $700 price point if you can make do with a standard battery size and a 5400 RPM hard drive. Competitive gamers on a budget can consider the DV6T. I don't have enough confidence in the GPU to recommend it for 1080p gaming, but if you think you're fine with 720p, by all means be my guest. Business users can buy with confidence thanks to the extended battery life, available 7200 RPM hard drive, fingerprint reader, and desktop style numpad. You can even order one without the discrete GPU to save a few coins. Desktop replacement seekers will have trouble dealing with no Firewire or Express card port and the lack of an available Core i7 processor. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching my feature presentation of the HP DV6T High Performance Notebook. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, post a link to this video on your Facebook page, and now please stay tuned for gameplay footage of the HP DV6T High Performance Notebook featuring my latest single, Thiege Get On To Me, which is available now on iTunes, Napster, and AmazonMP3.com. Thanks again for watching, and you guys have a good night. Shake the craze, hot airs get to me Mammal dies, what you need Then resuscitated Got some cash in the sound Got to spend it all Hope it floats where it goes No one seems to Get on the map.